Leicestershire County Council Participation and Collections team have had the pleasure of working in partnership with the Anna Mangle Ladies Group, Loughborough University, Equality Action, Charnwood Arts and Charnwood Museum on a unique heritage project using fashion and textiles to trigger memories. This project is very close to our hearts as we're passionate about supporting communities to access, explore, connect and share through heritage in ways that work for them. Loughborough University's research project aims to share memories and experience of the partition of India, migration, identity and a sense of belonging. The Anand Mangal Ladies Group have brought us on a journey together where we've learned from each other, been challenged to think differently about how we interpret the past and share stories and we've found new ways to work collaboratively and equitably. The Stitching Traditions exhibition began its journey with memories triggered by objects and textiles. The ladies visited the county's collections resources centre. We wanted to see if our collections could inspire memories of life in India, Africa and the UK. The raffia handbag prompted memories of a sari that had been embroidered with raffia. This became one of the exhibits in the exhibition later. It also reminded one lady of her own wedding. She had a raffia handbag and she described how she was married in Warsaw and they all went there on the bus with her husband. Several people recognised a Laura Ashley dress. Some of the ladies used to work at Loughborough's Mansfield hosiery where they were made. One lady recalled how she had done piecework from home while she looked after her mother-in-law. She was a joiner for sleeves. The old money got people talking about the cost of things and their working lives, how much they earned each week and how much butter and polos cost. We invited the ladies to a heritage workshop which we called Do You See What I See? Together we explored what heritage means to them through Charnwood Museum but also through sharing their own personal treasures. The interpretations of the exhibitions and objects based on their personal memories and connections was unique. So at the whole museum the rest of it reminded me a lot of school about school and my history lesson, so it, it wasn't a nice feeling. <laughs> Apart from this one, I absolutely love this picture because I, I could connect to it straight away as it was from Loughborough and everything reminds me of Loughborough. Along with other community groups, the ladies have all chosen a personal object to feature in the People's Gallery, an online community museum with the aim of understanding each other better and respecting each other more. The workshops and visits encourage people to share amazing stories triggered by objects, including lots of clothing kept from special occasions, bought and made by special people and from special places. I used to work in a Gotkin factory in Harbour Street, there used to be. And uh, I worked there for a long time and I was doing examining and packing. So we were examining old garments, you know, wools, underwears and outerwear and everything. We go here on the top, we have to put in the hat, three, three, and three. 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 two, and one in the hair. Yes. Like, like that. Like, like that. We used to feel, and we walk like that with two, and we put one in the hair, like that. Then we hold it like that, and we walk one or two. A lot of memories were generated through looking at and discussing what people wear, how things are made and how textiles links to identity. Quite a few of the ladies had jobs in the hosiery trade, so manufacturing textiles was also part of their working lives. Leicester's Golden Mile has been selling the latest in fashion from India since the 1960s. The ladies went on a memory walk around Belgrave, chatting about shopping now and then. We really enjoy coming here because it's a multicultural area and you find people from all the cultures, all your friends and things like that. And uh, it's a very friendly atmosphere here. The visit to Belgrave Road was really fantastic in terms of capturing memories and stories and getting an understanding of places of belonging for the group. We went to the different shops, they led us um, through Belgrave Road um, and, and taught us about why these places are significant to them. 
the ladies wanted to share and honour their heritage by displaying objects and stories which had deep meaning for them. Through a series of co-curation workshops, we identified some of the goals they wanted to achieve and the hopes they had for working together. They wanted to work as a team, do something positive and feel part of something new. As senior curator, I've been invited along today uh, to meet with the, the group so we can look at the exhibition space that they'll be using and help them think about the processes that they'll need to use to put together an engaging exhibition. So um, just demystifying the process really, looking at the types of things you need to think about, how you convey information, what things you select, why you're telling a particular story and how you're going to tell that story. This project is all about opening up our collections, opening up our minds really to different groups that maybe wouldn't engage with our museums and our collections. So we're looking for connections, for inspiration that our collections and these new groups will bring to us. Uh, today we listened to Alison and we, she asked about our hope and goals and uh, uh, our theme that we have to prepare uh, whatever we want to uh, display on a Chanwood Museum. And uh, that was uh, very exciting that at least we can do some teamwork and uh, get together and put uh, our own ideas. To help inspire the ladies, we facilitated a Stitching Stories workshop led by a talented textile performance artist. Everyone had the opportunity to try the technique of free machine embroidery. Sitting at sewing machines prompted lots of memories and conversations about migration. Many of the ladies had not used a machine for a long time. Some of them had never drawn a self-portrait or tried to draw with their non-dominant hand. But they all had a go, supported each other, had fun in each other's company and became more confident in the process. So um, the creative activities like the Stitching Stories workshop was really evocative. It was wonderful. It um, revisited some of the skills that some of the women used when they were working in some of the factories in Loughborough. And beyond that as well, we, we had wonderful stories come up about um, life, their lives in East Africa and in India. And that was all kind of evoked through the action of stitching. The ladies also put on a dazzling fashion show at the Charmwood Mellor. They created a beautiful booklet called Material Memories, which shared the history and personal memories of different styles of dress. We are in Loughborough today, uh, performing a fashion show, which we have been planning for months now. When we were asked in the beginning to perform it, we were not sure, but then after talking to the group leaders and things like that, we thought, no, it is very essential and we should do it. I deliberately asked the people who were comparing the show to mention that we are all over 65. In the Asian culture, if you are 50, you are finished. You cannot do anything. You are an old person. This is what they think. That's the mentality. But this can prove that you are never old to do anything. And I'm well impressed with the show that we did this morning. Charmwood Museum has always aimed to be at the heart of the community in Loughborough. <laughs> It's crucial that all local people feel Charmwood Museum is their museum. The community showcase is just one way the museum engages with its community. Before I start explaining anything, I will say, I will stress that this is an educational thing because quite we are educating other people and we are learning, even we are getting educated by doing this project because some of them were born here and they still don't know how the uh, life in India or Africa people used to live. And that we are only, uh, we are educating ourselves as well. We were coming here and showing each other about our costumes and about the things that we used to use in the past, cooking stuff and things like that. But we are learning from each other and we are respecting each other for the things and uh, the, the things that they brought to show uh, to the community. 
From our point of view, from the from Leicestershire Museum's point of view, it's so important to work with other groups and get people to come in and share how they want their stories told. Um, it just gives us a totally different perspective and it kind of allows us to look at what we have in our collections that can support it. So it's really been a team effort and, you know, I think the ladies should be really proud of the display they're putting on today because it is beautiful. It's brought a real burst of colour and uh, vibrancy to the museum and it's them telling their story in their own way. We wanted an opportunity to share and celebrate the heritage of the Anna Mangle ladies and the process and partnerships involved in co-curating the exhibition. I can relate very strongly to the exhibition I've come to today, the memories that are evoked uh, for people through um, their traditions and their interests that follow families through. My mother was a tailoress and as a child I can remember sitting on the floor um, playing with pieces of material while she was uh, sewing. So it's evoked a lot of memories for me through passing down the traditions and I can well understand how it has for those and for Charmwood to be able to facilitate that in this exhibition I think is brilliant and I'm hoping that lots of people come to see. We wanted to demonstrate how our museums and heritage teams can work with local community groups to better understand how we as a council can help groups and individuals explore their heritage and identity. Some of the ladies have generously offered to donate their treasured objects to the museum service so that the collections represent and remain relevant to all the people of Leicestershire in the future. So it's sort of um, sad as well that everything's coming down but at the same time while people are putting the things away they are reminding themselves or talking about the memories um, of each item. Um, some of the ladies are donating the stuff to the museum and some who have much more attachment to their items they'd like to take them back. It's a sad moment but it's a new beginning. The fact that it's been positive, um, the display has been um, greatly received by people and hopefully that means that we can put more together in the future. It's really refreshing to work in a different way and I hope that you know we can really build on this for the future and that it's not just possibly some objects being donated into our collection but actually we can work with this group of ladies again. Now that it is finished, I still feel that there is, we can still give more to this project. So hopefully one day, never know, might come up with another theme and we can work on it and go further. I really enjoyed doing this. Joining this group, I came to know a lot of people and uh, uh, I am learning from them as well. I think it's nice that uh, we celebrate our things, you know, that before we don't know anything about it, you know. So I feel good. You know, the places we've been all together visiting, I think that's the highlight because we'll be all working as a team. My conclusion for this program is it was really very interesting, very enthusiastic, increasing self-esteem, and building a teamwork. This was definitely not a one-off project. The ladies are already working with our creative learning service to develop cultural sharing sessions for primary schools, supporting the Simply Sounds project. By becoming community curators, the Anna Mangle ladies have demonstrated the benefits that can be achieved by working in a truly collaborative way. Strong local partnerships have improved and extended our work with, by and for the community in Charmwood. Using innovative ways to trigger memories, the Stitching Traditions projects brought new voices and rich stories to the people of the county. This project has been a real inspiration. Thank you.